Hi everyone, Blake Jones here. In this episode of How Do You Do That, we're going to look at the node layer stacking function in DaVinci Resolve 19. This is a great way of actually organizing your grade. You have up to four layers that can be configured, and so let's have a look at it. I'm not a big fan of fixed node trees or large amounts of nodes and shots. My feeling is try to keep it as simple as possible. And node stacking is a great way of organizing your grade. So what we're going to do to get started with that, let's come back to my project settings. If we come to general options here, you scroll down and find node stack layers. The default is one, so let's set it to four. Now, once you set it to four, you'll have your layer one, two, three, and four, and then you have the ability that you can actually assign preset names to it. I'm just gonna leave it as layer one, two, three, four. Okay, so once that's done, we just save it. Look here on the top, as you can see, now it says, flip layer one, or we have layer two, three, and four, and timeline. This is an additional layer of correction that will affect your entire um, project, for example. So what I'm going to do now is, first I do my basic primary correction for this shot, and then what I want to do next is come to my second layer. So if I come down to layer two, now what I can do here is perhaps I want to do some windowing in this area. Maybe put a vignette, for example, or something like this. Add a node, put my window in, reverse it, and then now I can darken the, the corners. Now I want to soften that so it's not so pronounced, and then make the size a bit more like so. Okay, so now what I want to do is perhaps in layer number three, I want to add an OpenFX plugin here. So what I'm going to do next here is in layer three, let's come to our library here. I'm gonna select contrast pump. And then here, I can select this flex like so. This is layer three, okay. Now, what I want to do is in layer four, I'm going to add some noise reduction. So what I'm going to do here is let's just close my effects window here, go to layer number four, select ultra noise reduction, and analyze. Now, as you can see, ultra noise reduction automatically puts a cursor on the screen where it's actually looking for noise reduction here, and it will set the optimal level. So what happens here is that if you, depending on where you move it, you'll see those numbers will change. So, okay, that's probably okay for what we want. So as you can see, we've got our four levels. It's important to note that these are all being processed sequentially, and it's very easy then to go back and tweak different parts of the grade just by going from one layer to the other. As you can see, I've got a very simple setup here. I've got you know, two nodes in one and one in the other and so forth. Um, you could have um, five nodes in one layer and 
10, uh, 10 nodes in another layer and so forth and things like that. So it's very easy that you can actually, you know, manipulate this and organize this. So this is something to think about when you're doing this. And also, as you can see, this is a little plus here showing you the ultra noise reduction on here. I've used ultra noise reduction on a project recently and it's given me fantastic results on it. And we'll go into more depth of ultra noise reduction in a later video. This gives you an idea how node stacking actually works. It's a very useful and very um, flexible way of dealing with multiple nodes and corrections within your grade. So there we have it. For more information about training services, have a look in the comments below. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you can be alerted to all the new upcoming videos. And also think about becoming a Patreon member. There are a lot of great perks there. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks a lot for watching.